Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts here in County Kerry in Ireland, and I'm a fifth generation Black Torn walking stick maker. And uh, this t today's video, uh, I thought it'd be quite interesting, is um, what is stick collecting? And uh, to give you kind of little introduction to becoming a, a stick collector. And uh, this is something kind of new that is kind of emerging in, uh, in, in kind of the last few years is that stick collecting and, and uh, has become quite, quite an interesting thing to get involved in. So today I'm kind of going to cover the basics and uh, give you an introduction to it as well. So usually like stick collecting is like any other collection um you know or any other type of hobby as well that um usually you need more than one stick maybe more than two um i would say you need about three sticks to be considered a collector so if you have like one walking stick you know you can say okay i have i have one walking stick yeah you know i'm using that each day I said oh no look i have a second stick now as well that's 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 pretty good but by the time you get to your your like say third stick as well that is usually when you're kind of like and there your your third stick so once you have about like three sticks, um, usually um, that's what I kind of gauge as your stick collector, because now it's turned more than just your, you have your stick, you're, you're turning into a collection. Um, a lot of people become stick collectors for many, many reasons. Um, a lot of people, they would have like maybe an interest in uh, Irish heritage and Irish culture. So you will get people that are collecting Irish memorabilia and they want something uh, as authentic as possible from Ireland and own, own a piece of Ireland. So a lot of people become stick collectors for that reason, that they have some Irish heritage or, or Irish collection. Um, a lot of people um, who collect sticks um, they're interested also in the history and the faction fighting because the Irish Blackthorn walking stick was famous for use as a weapon during faction fighting times because it was also used as a walking stick. So there was ways around the rules in terms of they could carry these sticks without getting into too much trouble. And, uh, you know, there's been movies around it. There's a lot of popular culture around it as well. You know, there's all of these kind of modern stick fighting groups that have kind of set up uh, as well that that give uh, a lot of attention to the history of Irish faction fighting. So a lot of people become stick stick collectors for that reason. Um, another reason people become collectors, which is the main reason, is for investment. Um, you know, a lot of people, they, they want to build up a collection that is valuable, that, that has some monetary value as well. Um, they're looking for new and different asset classes to invest in. And like, you know, a lot of people, they invest in real estate or stocks or, or Bitcoin or, or these things. But then there's a lot of kind of hard assets that people invest in as well, such as watches. And, you know, like watches is seen almost like a currency that you're just converting your dollar into the currency of a watch and then you can resell this as well. Well, the same thing applies to stick collecting as well. And, uh, you know, if you have, like, say, a piece of, of black torn walking stick and, you know, that that does hold its value and it can be resold as well. So it's a really good kind of investment to have. So, you know, it's not it's not like you're, you're buying a pair of shoes and you're going to wear them out and they're going to be no more lose their value as well. You're buying a new car and after a few years, depreciation kicks in and, and you, you lose a lot. So. Uh, you know, you're, it's very important as a stick collector to build up a valuable collection. Um, and the way to do this as well is that uh, you should know who the maker is. Um, the, the person, like if you were buying for the reason of creating a valuable stick collection, one that holds value in the future, maybe that you can resell or that you can trade or, or something as well. Um, there's a few things you have to pay attention of. Um, usually, like when you're buying sticks as well, like, um, you know, th this this is a one piece stick and sometimes there's two piece sticks. Usually for value, for auction, for resale as well, one piece sticks carry more, more value um, than a two piece. A two piece stick is where you have one piece of wood and you, you drill a hole in it as well. You put an attachment, maybe a tendon attachment, attachment, and you have two pieces. You attach a Merlon, which is basically just a handle. Um, so usually if the Merlon is one piece, it's more valuable, uh, or if it's actually two piece, it's, it's going to be less, less valuable as well. Because usually what happens is the, the two piece sticks are usually not sold as two piece, um, they're usually sold as like an authentic piece of Irish blackthorn, but they're not really a piece of, of Irish blackthorn. They're usually like a really nice display piece made from two different pieces of wood as well. So they might look really good for a picture on Facebook or, or on the wall or something like that. But um, in terms of the actual value as well and resale value, um, it doesn't really carry a lot. So it's very important um, to the one piece and two piece when you're buying like a stick for collecting. Um, also, as I just kind of touched on and uh, know the maker, um, 
knowing when it was made no, it was uh, when it was, uh, you know, you, you sometimes it's kind of you want a way to be able to authenticate your stick as well. Um, sometimes they, you know, in history, there's reference numbers or different code numbers for watches and stuff. But, uh, you know, the way you can kind of like authenticate it is, you know, you have your receipt from the shop. Um, that's why it's very important only to deal with with a registered business and a limited company. Um, I'm Francis McCaffrey. My business is McCaffrey Crafts Limited. You can see here is my retail store. I have a physical location. I have a YouTube channel. I have a Facebook uh, account. I'm uh, on Instagram. I'm on Pinterest. I'm on TikTok. So, you know, it's very important to kind of know, you know, whether you're buying, you know, a Louis Vuitton bag for your wife and she's going to sell it in the future. Or, well, women don't really sell. <laughs> you know, that's for, for, that, uh, that for nothing. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, um, it's very important to know the maker and um, know who the craftsperson is and have a way to uh, verify them. Um, they should have a company register number. Um, like, I'm VAT registered as well. There's a history of uh, McCaffrey's as well in uh, in Irish Black Tart. There's a book from 1984 called Irish Traditional Crafts. I did a video about that before where my relative John James uh, McCaffrey um, was a stick maker and in 1984 he was in his 80s and he was a well-known very stick uh, blackthorn stick maker in Ireland at the time and uh, you know well enough to, to feature uh, in in one of the main uh, tra traditional craft books of the time of the 80s that came out so you know like the, you have to have ways in which you can um, which you can like verify the credentials of the owner like another another thing too is that like you know I say I'm a fifth generation black torn shillelagh stick maker and i see a lot of other people are saying well i'm a fifth generation i'm i'm doing this for generations but like you know if you've watched this youtube channel before um i've had my father on here my my dad is in his 70s he is a stick maker he's a carpenter by trade i've interviewed him i had a whole series of interviews with him as well uh you know my grandfather was a stick maker you know there's there's evidence of of the mccaffrey's making sticks for 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 generations in in ireland so it's a good way to like you know if someone is saying they've been making it for generations and their dad has been making it you know the big the big claim that you see a false claim is that they said oh i've been making it for generations and so has my dad but like unless they have pictures of their dad with the sticks or making it you know you have to take them with a grain of salt so there's going to be greater value in buying sticks from stick makers who have a genuine history and general credentials and general background and i think this is uh, this is quite important so you can see you see with myself as well mccaffrey crafts that's you know my father you know you can see you can see him you can talk to him he's on ebay you know kerry carpenter i think is uh, his ebay username and uh, he's on facebook as well and uh, you know if you ever need to, to chat to him as well um, he's very easy to to get so it kind of adds some some value as well um another thing too is that uh, if you are buying a collection and wood and um, the rarity of the wood is is quite important like usually like common wood doesn't hold value like say woods like i i use it myself like hazel is is a beautiful wood but it's very common and uh, this wood is a commodity doesn't really hold its value over the years like it makes a beautiful knob stick it's very easy to work with so like uh, white thorn as well is so common you know it's a very kind of low value wood and um, black thorn would be considered more of a higher value wood so the the the, the wood that is used is quite important like irish oak is actually quite difficult to find because a lot of the irish oak forests have been cut down and a lot of the forestry in ireland at the moment is uh, secret spruce noble fir all of these different pines there's mostly pine forests in the forestry the majority of the forestry at the moment is all pine in ireland so if you can find like oak like irish oak as well and um, you know any of these woods that you are interested in you can't find them anywhere you find them just occasionally from time to time they are the rarest woods and, and they are what stick collectors uh, look for stick collectors are looking for rare woods things that are very rare things that are not common and um, you know they'll look for an in interesting feature or like i've shown this there a few times as well like this is a 41 and three quarter inch knob stick and uh, made from one piece of wood with a naturally occurring handle and um, these type of pieces of wood are hard to find because they only grow in overgrown hedges you've got to go into the center of the bush and to, to find it like it's it's you see guys they're, they're cutting straight pieces of black thorn with no handles or no heads and no merlins and then there's attaching white thorn and black thorn together they're attaching elm burr with with white thorn and calling it black thorn you know there's all of these like tricks of the trade like if you are a stick maker you know instantly 
not just me, any stick maker can look at another stick maker and you know exactly what they're doing. You know exactly the woods. Um, like woods, wood grain is like a fingerprint, you know? You see my fingerprint here, you know? Wood grain is like a fingerprint. It identifies the wood, you know? Different woods don't have completely different wood grains as well. When you see a wood grain, so if someone's selling a black thorn and the wood grain doesn't match, um, you know, the bark doesn't match, nothing nothing matches at, at, at about it at all, you know, you gotta be, um, got to be very careful of of this as well there's many great guys out there that buy beautiful pieces of wood and to walk in sticks you know but it you know if, if you want one of those pieces in your collection one of the the fake black thorns as i call them and um, you can you can do that as well but uh yeah it's, it's it, there's a number number of factors that uh that are to be considered with stick uh stick collecting and uh you know then you know you 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 can build up quite quite a lovely stick collection and um, so again like the, the the type of wood is is important as well and um, like irish stick making is just one aspect of stick collecting like you know there are sticks made in the uk as well like they attach horns they do like horses heads or dog heads and and loads of different things as as were well. like um you know a very rare stick from from germany is called a ziegenheiner um, I'll do a video on, on that as well. Very similar story to the, the Black Torn. Uh, you know, the knob carries like come from, from Africa as well. Um, there's ebony wood, there's there's all of these different types of woods out there. You know, there's um, you know, if you get into the tropical woods and the tropical hardwoods, there's some really rare um tropical hardwoods as well. And uh, there's not many sticks that are, are made from as well. So stay away from the really common low value wood um, that everyone can use. They're readily available everywhere. It's, it's not really, really something to collect. Collect the rare woods, know your stick maker, know their credentials, be able to verify who the stick maker is. You should know his full name. You should be able to know where he is. You know, there should be records. Like, you know, if someone's been, been stick making for, for years, if I have, you should be able to find me. Like, you know, I think the first records of me from online are about 2012, um, the Salt and Water New England uh, blog. And they've, they've kind of like um, set up a new website now and back and forth. But, um, you know, if you go into the web archive, you can see like, you know, there, there are my credentials. And uh, I know I keep going on about them and, and different things as well, but I think it's like really important because there's a lot of great stick collectors and stick guys out there. And uh, the last thing you want to do is, is get a low value or something, you know, that's not rare. So low value and not rare are, are, are things to kind of stay away from. So this is just a very quick overview of stick collecting. I'm um, just giving a few of my thoughts from obviously a stick maker's perspective. It'd be interesting to hear, hear your perspectives as well. But, uh, you know, all stick collectors want to show off their collections. They want to show what they have. It's rare. They want something that's unique. And, uh, you know, with McCaffrey Crafts and McCaffreyCrafts.com, that is exactly what you get. Um, you know who I am. You know my credentials. So visit my website, McCaffreyCrafts.com. I hope you like my sticks and uh, I'm always making new sticks. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.